Hello, Teresa Tree here at Los Ranchos School Garden. Let's take a look at how our irrigation system is working and how it gets water to the plants. Okay, so we have this system set up to have little sprinklers in this section. A whole bunch of water is collecting all in one spot. So that tells me there's too much water coming to this area. By the way, there's our rain gauge. In case we get any more rain, we'll collect the rainwater there. So this is an example of too much water in one place. Okay, now in this garden bed, we have what's called a spaghetti tube. And you're like, oh, it's not watering, but if you lift it up, you see drip, 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 drip. So this is called drip irrigation, and it should have an adequate water amount, a water supply to one, two, three rows. And the way you can check is you can dig down and see that the soil is moist below with the little drips, drip, drip. Let's check out the next garden area. Okay, this one has a combination of some little sprinklers that are sort of working, I'm going to say, and then some of the spaghetti tubing that is also dripping. So combination is another way to, to go about it. Some drips and some sprinklers. Here's another little sprinkler. Whoa, there it is. And so there's another little sprinkler in this corner. Got a little sprinkler action and a little drip. So that's adequate. It's covering this area. Now this one could be adjusted. Hopefully, let's see if that works. Turn it. Nope, that makes it go down. That's here. Yeah, see? Makes it go up more. So these are adjustable. That's what you want to do in your irrigation systems is check them out. See how they're working and see how you can repair them. Okay, so in this school garden, we have one, two, three, four garden beds. Two of them are connected to one timer and the other two are connected to another timer. So we already looked at the row way over there and that was a mixture of some sprinklers and some drip. And then it's connected to the timer that runs this garden bed here that has some cabbage and some broccolis growing and then the strawberries down there. So it also has a drip. Lift it up. Drip, 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 drip. Dig down. It's, it's not wet, super wet down there. It's a little bit moist. So somehow this system it seems like it could use a little bit more water. So I can supplement the drip system by getting the hose and watering and giving it a little bit more. I could also set up two more drip lines. So repairs is the theme here. I could repair by adding some more drip line. I could repair if there's any leaks. I could repair by redoing the system. All right, and right now in Texas, they're having to do a lot of repairs because their pipes broke in the frost and the freezing temperatures and people are without water. Wow, so water is a precious resource. I'm gonna turn it off, just giving it a little bit. Give the plants what they need, not too much and not inadequate amount. So watering systems is kind of like the story of Goldilocks 
where it has to be just right, not too much and not too little. And in this garden bed, talking about having too much or too little, what we have done is have a little sprinkler system over here to, to grow some flowers that I still need to plant for the springtime. The artichoke has its own little sprinkler and it's getting good and watered. And then the lavender doesn't need water so much, so we don't have a sprinkler over there. All right, so you can direct where you want the water to flow with these little tubes so you can move it around. All right, so you can readjust your irrigation by moving it around as well. Okay, so I remember I was saying that there's two timers. So here they are. There's two timers for your school garden and one timer has about four minutes left. And I set it up for Monday, Wednesday, Friday for half an hour. And then the same thing with this timer. It's also is Monday, Wednesday, Friday for another half an hour. So when this one clicks off, the other one should click on. That's another thing that uh, people who uh, set up landscapes and farms and at home set up these valves and timers and on off switches and you become a, a water engineer. Okay, water engineer, that's another kind of career that you can be in this world helping people figure out how much water to supply to the town or to their home or to a business. So uh, that could be something worthwhile to pursue in the future. Being smart, engineering the water. Okay, stay healthy, happy, and smart. Bye.